I'm getting ready to do some vinyl planking on my stairs. I'm putting vinyl plank down on the floor and I want to make the stairs match the floor. Uh, the ones with the bull nose already bent on them are expensive. Uh, so I'm going to make a video here. I've used some different videos I found online. Uh, got some high points from all of them and decided to make myself a jig that works flawlessly for my system. At least hopefully flawlessly. We'll see. But what I want to do is I want to take my stair tread. I got one the exact same as what we have in the house. They're older, but still the exact same. I want to cut a piece off of this bottom, drill some holes in it, cut a groove in it so I can clamp it on this side. It'll hold this piece of vinyl planking in here. I'm going to heat it up with a heat gun and bend it right around the stairs and then clamp it tight just so I can get something that's very close to fitting my exact treads. Uh, I'm hoping this helps. Uh, we'll follow along, see how I do. Uh, I'm new to making videos. I don't make a lot, but uh, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and we'll see where we go from there. I've already set up the table saw to take just a piece off the bottom, like two and a half inches, nothing super special. Uh, but once it's removed, I'll drill some holes in it, form the clamp up, and I'm going to cut a groove in the back side of this to hit that plank. That way it clamps really nice. Here we go. I'm going to set my blade to about three quarters of an inch to account for where my risers meet the treads. So when I cut into this piece here, I only want to cut three quarters of an inch down. And the thickness of my plank is about an eighth inch, maybe a little more, but it should clamp in there very nice. So I'm gonna set this up, run this through, and now start drilling the holes, setting it up. So now what I have is that little cut that my vinyl planking will set into. So it should clamp down nice. Now my vinyl planking too, I had to take the there's a rubbery material on the back of this. I had to take it off. It was hard to get off, so I ended up using an, using an oscillating tool to kind of peel it off. But most of it came off. Uh, but the one thing about these planks too, uh, when I got them, I didn't see their, one of the tabs is broken. So you can see it there. So I had a whole box of these, which I'm gonna use these for the stairs. So. I'm going to run them through the saw, cut that lip off, and then it'll give me a nice square edge to roll underneath to meet the riser. So I'll be able to salvage these boards and not actually lose them. So back here in the background, I have my jig built. I have the screws drilled in it. I had to drill them twice because I didn't properly align it. I had to make sure that the back piece that I'm going to clamp this into is the same height as the bull nose rounded front. And mine was off, so I ended up plugging the holes back up, re-drilled new ones. That happens. But I had my saw set to be able to cut these broken edges off. You can see it, uh, you can see it there. But these edges are broke, so I'm gonna salvage them. So I'm gonna take just this basically lip off of it. Okay, I have my board clamped into my jig. Put wing nuts on all the screws. I made sure it was seated down the whole way to my depth to make sure that when it rounds over, it's the same as my stairs. So I'm going to turn the heat gun on here and bend the plank. I have it, I should mention, I have it strapped down on my jaw horse. You can use a 
bench vice or whatever you have. This is just something I use all the time. I, I really like it. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but I, I recommend it. It's a nice tool to have. So here we go. I realized the video I made earlier didn't, it wasn't in focus and it wasn't squared up on the plank, so I'll do it again. I moved inside because it's cooler inside than it is outside. It's pretty hot in Pennsylvania right now. I'm going to take the heat gun to it and I'll show you how to bend it. your board that we're going to clamp it in to keep it shaped. Stick it on the back side and kind of roll it forward. As you do that, it'll stretch and make a real nice radius. Just watch it is hot and we'll clamp it through. squeeze them down tight. Now you want to make sure there's a gap right here or you'll put a dent in the, the face of your bull nose. And the very first one I did, that was what happened. So you just have to be a little, you know, conscientious of where your clamps are at. But I let it cool down a couple minutes here. I ran the, air, the heat gun for about four or five minutes. I let it cool down. It takes about five to six minutes to cool down. Uh, I'll show you a video taking it off. My plank is now cool to the touch, so stick the plank off. Have to loosen the weight nuts. It actually gets so tight you have to use a screwdriver to kind of wiggle it and get it out of there. But and there you have it. There's no marks on the front. Nice little bend for the front of the stairs. I set this, my groove down here, around three quarters of an inch to seven eighths of an inch. Uh, that's what my stair overhang is. So each one of these, as long as they're pressed tight in here, will come out the same size. Here is my stair tread jig. I have to put these pieces on to help set these that are stops to give me my depth. So I set that in. Adjust everything. And tighten it down. Here's how I set it up. I already have my two pieces put together. My bull nose piece back piece. I just set this one here. Make sure these stops are against this. All I have to do is draw my lines.
And just like that, all the lines, you probably can't see them, but they're transferred on here. If I say I take it out of the salt, cut it. I'll show you installing on the stairs in a moment. Now I've used my template. I cut my pieces. We'll do a little test fit here. And there you can see it. We little gap here. A wee little bit of gap there and almost nothing back here. Now this was a little wonky, so I had to do a little bit of sanding and everything. I wanted to put these on, put the risers on first, so that walking up the stairs you didn't see any kind of gap there. I figure walking down, it don't matter if you see a wee little bit. But I'm gonna put a little bit of gray caulking here on the sides just to blend it in. A little white caulking here, paint all that, we're good to go. Brush of the step, make sure there's no dirt on it. And you probably don't have to, but I'm putting a little bit of glue on the seam just to make sure it stays together. And there you have it. If you like what you see, smash that like button, subscribe.